So if you guys assaulted and committed a hate crime against a, against a couple of gay dudes on a CTA train in Chicago. Now, CTA is, you know, of course, Chicago's Public Transit Authority. And um, apparently this incident happened back in January. And what happened was uh, the three guys were harassing one person, and then another gay guy jumped in to intervene to stop them, like a good Samaritan. And, um, well, they beat him down and committed a hate crime against him. And I'm reading the article here. It says that... Um, you know, they now face felony hate crime charges. And as well as uh, aggravated battery. Now, the guys' names are Kevin McAndrew, Benjamin Eater, and Sean Little. Uh, they're around the same age as I am. And I can't imagine being immature enough to commit this kind of crime against people. I would never put my hands on anyone because of who they are, even if they were like an extreme right-wing fanatic. Just for being who they are, I would never attack somebody like that in public. I'd leave them alone, unless they were attacking me. Um, you know, prosecutors had to upgrade the charges because they learned that the circumstances of the attack uh, left the victim with blood, a bloody nose and cuts and bruises on his face. And um, the victim is 33 years old. And, you know, he's glad that they're pressing more serious charges against them. He has a deviated septum, and I guess they broke his nose. It's just amazing that people can allow that much anger and hatred to build up inside of them, that they could allow themselves to do something like this. And, you know, it's really heroic for the guy who stepped in and also got beaten to stand up for this guy. And I would do the same thing, and I encourage anyone else out there, whether you're gay or straight, to do the same. If you see somebody getting harassed, whether it be, you know, on the streets, on a bus, on a train, anywhere, step in to help out. You know, let people know that this kind of uncivilized behavior is not going to be tolerated. So I do think that he was, it was a pretty noble, brave thing for him to do, but unfortunately he got hit, but it was worth it, in my opinion, because these guys learned, you know, uh, that they, they weren't going to get by with it, and now they're feeling the effects of the long arm of the law. So I don't know, you know, people out there need to know that if you're going to commit acts of hate like this in today's society in 2010 and beyond, uh, you're going to have people stand up to you and you're going to have to deal with the law and you're going to be put away so that you can't hurt anybody else, you know. Those three things are going to happen in our modern era because of these new hate crimes laws. We have recognized a new evil in our society, and people more and more are becoming supportive of hate crime laws because they realize that this new evil exists, and it's something that we as a society need to fight against. You know, if all you bigots out there, you want war, you got a war. But, but this isn't a battle that you're going to win. The man who intervened uh, while being assaulted wiped blood on one of the men and told him that he was HIV positive. And that's apparently when the attack stopped, because they had actually asked them, they were like, I have blood on me now. Uh, do I have HIV? Now that shows a lot of ignorance on the part of the attackers. Just because someone is gay doesn't mean that they have HIV. And even if they wipe their blood on you, you're not going to catch it. You have to have sex with somebody in order to catch HIV. And even then, it's still kind of hard to catch it. Um, Assistant State's Attorney Aaron... Antonietti told Ocasio that Hoff interviewed, intervened in the early morning hours of January 10th when he saw the three harass another writer and other anti-gay slurs. Okay, this is obvious and uh, something I've already talked about. The three men then turned on Hoff, pushing and punching him while shouting anti-gay slurs at him. Well, there's no question that this is a hate crime. It shouldn't have been the question to begin with. And, of course, there's going to be people out there who say, you know, oh, well, this wasn't a hate crime. They should just get assault and battery charges. Bull fucking shit. They're sitting over here using words like faggot, queer, uh, suggesting that a man has HIV. You know it's a hate crime. Both men that were attacked had a hate crime committed against them. That's just all there is to it. I don't know what more evidence you need of that. Uh, Ocasio, they were going to dismiss the hate crime charges. And fortunately, it was interrupted by uh, uh, the state's attorney. And, um, you know, it's just a really bad situation that people cannot even ride public transit. People can't even go about their business 
without somebody somewhere thinking that they're going to be a hard ass and attack somebody just because they're gay or lesbian or transgendered. That's just absolute evil in its purest form. This should not exist. And you know, it's moments like this where I wonder if eugenics really isn't that bad of an idea. If we can genetically engineer human, uh, you know, kids when they're born or as they grow to uh, cleanse the human mind of bigotry and prejudice or the capabilities of feeling bigotry and prejudice. Yeah, I really do give a lot of thought into that. It just, it's clear that we need to do something, you know. People are just running around like animals acting ignorant, you know. And what happened in Seattle a couple of years ago, a man got, they grabbed him towards their car and they drug him down the street. And these people were driving a BMW. They obviously have some money. It's just ridiculous some of the things that we gay, lesbian, and transgendered individuals are having to face. And we shouldn't have to be facing this. And I'm confident that someday we won't. Someday that will change. But for now, we need to keep on punishing hate crimes to the fullest extent of the law. And these people need to be, the people who perpetuate hate crimes need to be exposed and publicly humiliated for their actions.